Papa Podcast presents 1.1, Describing Matter. You must observe matter carefully to describe it well. Okay, so characteristics that help you describe and identify matter are what are referred to as properties. So we are going to look at two specific properties, and that is physical and chemical properties. Physical properties are properties that can be observed and or measured without really changing the composition of matter. So if we know what the chemical formula is of something, that formula will stay consistent with that physical property. So physical properties are used to observe and describe matter. So we're going to go into specifics about physical properties. There are two types of physical properties that we're going to look at right now. We're going to look at what are referred to as the qualitative physical properties, and they look at the quality of something. So in other words, they are really describing uh, matter using words that are not measurable. So if we're describing something as, let's say, looking clear, looking colorless, um, having some kind of odor, um, these are all referred to as qualitative physical properties because they describe the quality of something. Something that is considered quantitative, on the other hand, is something that can actually be measured. So we're looking at the quantity of something and what physical properties are measurable. Well, those are things like boiling point, melting points of substances. So any type of calculation that we can make that describes a specific matter. So take, for example, water freezes at zero degrees Celsius. Okay, so water freezes at zero degrees Celsius. This would be considered a quantitative physical property of water. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. This is a physical quantitative property of water. Now let's look at the chemical property. So chemical properties is a property that you can observe when one kind of matter is converted into a different kind of matter. So take for example, th th this example that I have here, the idea of iron, right? Iron has its own chemical properties. It has the ability to react with oxygen. And when it does, it actually will form a completely different type of matter. And that completely different type of matter is known as rust. So if we look at iron and we look at rust and think about when you see a car rusting, right? How appealing does that look? The initial iron on a car would be a little more appealing, but the rust on it now has a completely different property. So that change, this, this is is the chemical property that it has the ability to change into something else. So in the end, rust and iron have completely different physical and chemical properties. So here's a list of the physical properties and the chemical properties um, that we might see in chemistry. So let's look quickly through the what are considered the quantitative um, properties of um, uh, physical properties in chemistry. So we're looking at the physical state of something, the color. Okay, so physical state, solid, liquid, uh, or gas, uh, the color that it gives off or it shows. If there, is there an odor? Um, be careful when you're smelling things in chemistry. Uh, is it crystal shape? Um, is it malleable? So can it be bendable? Uh, is it ductile? Uh, meaning that it can be stretched into wiring. Uh, is it hard? What kind of hardness does it have? And is it brittle if you were to try to uh, bend it? Uh, for quantitative physical properties, we talked about these are properties that can all be measured, that there is an actual number associated with it. And that's the melting point, boiling point, density, so mass, over volume, solubility, something um, I'm going to show later on um, in uh, in chapter nine, uh, electrical conductivity, and lastly, thermal conductivity. And lastly, the property that uh, I want to look at right now, just quickly, the chemical properties. So, and, and one thing to note is the 
commonality amongst all the chemical properties. They all deal with the reactivity. So their ability to react with something is considered a chemical property. Uh, so its ability to react with a number of things here, uh, how combustible is it, how toxic can something be, and its decomposition. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, do not be shy to hit that thumbs up button. And while you're clicking the thumbs up, click on that subscribe to stay tuned to my new videos. Thanks for watching.